Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the Windows 11 February 2023 update, which is the Patch Tuesday, of course. And this update has some security improvements and also all the new features that were part of the C release for the month of January. If you want to see a more in-depth explanation on how the main release works, of course, you can always check the first link with the article from our website. The OS build number for the February 2023 update is 202621 .12 65. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 update for the main release. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as I've said, this update addresses security issues for the Windows operating system and you can find an in-depth list of changes and improvements related to the security side of Windows in the article below in the video's description. And to be more exact, this update makes miscellaneous security improvements to internal OS functionality. Also another good news, no additional issues were documented for this release. And as I've said in this update, you'll be able to find all the new features that were part of the C release for the last month. So for example, this update addresses an issue that affects picture files you find using search on the taskbar. This issue stops you from opening those pictures in the photo application you choose. And also this update addresses an issue that stops you from searching for a file based on the file's contents. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects some game controllers. When the game controller is connected to the computer, the computer might not go to sleep mode. Also, this update changes the experience for preview.NET Framework updates. After you install this update, all future preview or optional .NET Framework updates will display on the settings, Windows Update, Advanced Options, and then Optional Updates page. On that page, you can control which optional updates you want to install. And these are pretty much the highlights of this newest Windows 11 update for the main release. As always, you can check out the article below in the video description for a full list of changes, improvements, and also fixes if you want to learn more about this. Of course, there you'll have links to the official Microsoft website where you can also see in-depth security improvements and also known issues in this update. And as a conclusion, we also have a Windows 11 servicing stack update, the build 22621.1. 1190, which is basically an update that ensures you have a robust and reliable servicing stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.